Welcome to another video from the DJpodcast.com. In this video, we're going to look at warping tracks for DJing inside of Ableton Live 8. Live 8 is a little bit different from Live 7 and previous versions. In Live 8, you adjust the track's waveform to a fixed timeline, whereas with Live 7, you would adjust time to a fixed waveform. This makes warping a lot easier. Let's start by dragging a clip from our browser into one of our clip slots. And we're also going to increase the size of this window so that it's easier to see the waveform. Next, by having our cursor over the top part of the waveform, we're going to click and drag to zoom in. Here you can see the very first beat of the track. Next, we're going to click Warp, and that will lay out some warp markers and transient markers for our track. Ableton Live thinks that the track starts at the very beginning, but that's incorrect as there is some silence before the first beat. Let's correct this. We're going to zoom in a little bit further and look at the very first beat of the track. You can see by this gray triangle that there's a transient right here. So we're going to double click and that's going to insert a new warp marker. We're going to right click on this warp marker and then we're going to click set 111 here. Now we're going to zoom back out and we're going to delete the first warp marker that Ableton Live set. Just click on it and then click delete to remove that warp marker. Now, to correct the tempo of this track, we need to tell Ableton that we want to re-warp it. So let's go ahead, right click on our warp marker again, and then click warp from here straight. You can see that now the BPM has changed to 125.99. Really, this track is at 126 BPM, but Ableton Live has the warping a little bit off. What we're going to do is zoom out and then zoom in to a beat near the very end. Let's take a look at 204, for example. A beat that's right near the end. You can see highlighted by this gray triangle that the transient starts here, but the beat is supposed to be over here. It's really easy to correct this. All you have to do is move your mouse over the triangle and you can see a new pseudo warp marker appears. You simply want to click and drag this to adjust its point. So we'll click and drag it to the right. Now you can see that it's aligned perfectly with the 204th beat marker. And our track has set itself to 126 BPM. We'll zoom out here. And you can see now that we have one warp marker in the beginning, a pseudo warp marker in the end, and that our track is at a whole number for the segment BPM. You can enable the metronome and play through the track at various points to make sure that all of your warp markers are set correctly and that your track is in sync with the master tempo. That's how you can warp a track in Ableton Live 8. For more videos on Ableton Live, Native Instruments, Tractor Pro 2, and Serato Scratch Live, as well as industry news, reviews, and how-tos, please visit the djpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.